that was Steve. <laughs> female lyrebird. What an epic, epic night. Well, we're all packed up, well, just about, ready to head back to Wombat Creek on the Big Hole Trail. Takes up over Aeroplane Hill, uh, apparently. Uh, hooks back onto Big Hole Trail and back towards Wombat Creek. So hopefully we can find the trail or it with all this snow, but if not, we got maps and um, GPS and everything will be all right. But uh, yeah, I need to get moving because I can't feel my feet. <laughs> just, just look at this winter wonderland. Just beautiful. Absolute winter wonderland. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. Probably got about a uh, good three inches of snow, possibly four inches of snow on average so far. Definitely an interesting experience. <laughs> it's feeling a little better now. I've got feeling back in my toes. But uh, just beautiful. If you didn't have the breeze, I reckon it'd just be dead still. Just quiet. Except for my voice rattling on. It's snowing some more. How are you liking this weather? Hey. How are you liking this weather? I'm loving it. <laughs> Look at it, yeah. Never seen this before. It's a balmy three degrees, two, three degrees. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely, mate. So tropical. Well, I'm pretty warm. <laughs> yeah, we're warm, that's I'm the main thing. That is the main thing.
close to Black Swamp Campground. <coughs> Sorry, campsite, remote campsite. So, I dare say it'll be much like the other ones. Just a toilet, and that's it. But the snow was coming down. Hey mate, yeah, riding into a nice, sunny riding into a nice headwind too. Yeah. <laughs> Get on. How's it going? Going hard. Yep. This is Black Swamp. Just amazing with the snow coming down. Just so beautiful. You can definitely tick the hiking in the snow off the bucket list. First time for that. First time for Keith actually seeing snow even. So I'm glad we got to see some snow for his sake. But that is just awesome. Definitely looks like bedhead beard, yes. No icicles on the nose, so that's a good start. <laughs> Snickers. Ah, Snickers, that's what I was forgetting. <laughs> No, he flicked one right in my eyeball this morning. <laughs> Off the trekking pole, he's got like well, that at me, whack, right in the eye. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, oh, that's, that's another, what, 10 k's or so? I don't know. You can drive to it. Oh, but yeah, I'm, I haven't driven any other way to get to these points. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't go, yeah. Yeah, it's an old, it's a hut that the New South Wales Bushwalking Club look after. They built it and look after it. Okay. Yeah, mate. Right No, not that far. The firewood situation for the night should hopefully be enough. Good camp set up. Met up with Stephen. He's been up here for yesterday as well. And we're gonna get this fire cranking soon. So I can warm my toes back up again. I don't know what's going on with my feet, but they get really cold. Show them the floor. No, I understand. That's what's going on with his feet. Yeah, that's what's going on with my feet. We've Trudge the snow down into ice. <laughs> you could walk on it, man.
Well, that was an enjoyable night. Caught up with Stephen from the Hunter Valley Outdoor Adventure Group and uh, shared the fire with him. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel and Facebook as well, so go and check his out. It's Wild Stuff on Facebook and also on YouTube. And I'll, uh, I'll put links in the description and uh, to his channel. Definitely go and check him out. He does uh, some outdoor adventuring kind of stuff as well, uh, plus some drone footage um, and also kayaking and, and um, some time lapse kind of photography as well. So go on, definitely go and check his channel out. And like I said, just links will be in the description below. But it's now time to head from Wombat Creek back to Gloucester Tops to the car. We've got 18 kilometers in beautiful snow. It's definitely been one hell of a trip so far and uh, we'll be back for some more snow action in the future I'm pretty sure but until then let's get a wriggle on towards the car starting to melt away we've also dropped down a little bit in elevation so there's only maybe an inch left down here and it's starting to get very slushy probably about about a third of the way back to the car so We'll keep moving and I'll update you a bit later. Snowball fight. Almost back to the car, maybe about 150 meters to the car. I've just ducked down this side track though because I've got something special to show you. 
me and Keith stayed here on our last trip. We just drove in and stayed outside the hut in our tents and that. But this is one awesome little hut called Munro's Hut. And uh, it uh, was built by the New South Wales Bushwalking Club and they maintain it and everything like that so anyone that does use it they they uh, ask for a small donation just to help keep up with the upkeep of the of the little hut but it's it's pretty cool i'll take you down there and show you and there it is munro hut How cool is that? I'll take you inside, show you what it looks like. Awesome is that? That's just cool. <laughs> nice fireplace. I think it sleeps about one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven, maybe eight. The Newcastle Bushwalking Club has right away over it. They have because it's theirs. That is pretty cold. Sitting on a balmy four degrees. Anyway guys, brings me to the the part of the videos that I always hate. The end. But you know, in this way I get to go home, plan another adventure, and uh, organize that and get out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, it was one hell of an experience being able to hike in the snow for the first time. Just, it was just magical. Cold, but magical. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm very, very glad I got to experience that. So I just want to thank you guys for uh, supporting me watching my videos, I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's, uh, it just blows me away, the amount of people that actually want to watch my adventures. Um, I enjoy making them, so don't, don't get me wrong, there's more coming. So until next time, I'll see you out there somewhere in the great Aussie bush. Oh, and the rig's still there, thank goodness. I thought for sure there'd be that big tree on top of it or something, after all those big winds we've had. But, we have made it. Now, I've got to try and find the keys. Oh no. And a four and a half hour drive home.